So this is it, the uh, schooner races. Everybody just went uh, through the parade of sail. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so it gets pretty wild out here. Here comes fame. Columbia just, uh, Columbia just went by. There's uh, the story. Yeah, what a beautiful day though. Incredible out here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, plenty of uh, plenty of spectator boats out and about as well. The uh, bulk of the schooners are off uh, out ahead of me. And uh, I'm just uh, making my way out to join the fleet. I'm not sure that the, uh, I'm not sure that the camera conveys just how many and how close the boats are, but yeah, it's, it's fun. <laughs> That's kind of the whole point of Centennial is, uh, you know, within reason you can pretty much go anywhere with it and uh, you know, I'd feel, uh, feel a little tentative if I was in any less of a boat. So yeah, yeah what a beautiful day out here though, wow. Probably a uh, uh, 12 mile an hour breeze at the moment. And um, yeah, it's around uh, around 11 a.m. Uh, Sunday before Labor Day. Uh, I stayed the night over at a Maritime Gloucester, tied up to the uh, Essex Shipbuilding, uh, the AD Story, their tobacco boat built by uh, Harold Burnham, and uh, just uh, just up the dock from. Uh, just up the dock from um, the Ardell, which is Harold's schooner. And super quiet night in there, it was beautiful. Like, no wave action. There can be some nights, can get a little little bit rolly, but no, it was super quiet in there, and, uh, and uh, yeah, good night's sleep. And then I had a bunch of, uh, bunch of friends show up last night, so Saturday night, we went over to the Gloucester house for dinner and uh, some friends from work, some friends from church, uh, some friends from the Wooden Boat Forum. Um, yeah, so it was a good time. I'm really bouncing now. <laughs> yeah, it's all these boat wakes. It's just a, a huge spectator fleet headed out. Oh, one of the boats from the uh, from the Parade of Lights last night. Got a structure above the uh, that's wrapped around the uh, the pulpit up there, the the uh, driving platform. That all lights up. It's a big hat, I believe. A number of the schooners have headed back into the dock. They're going to swap out uh, swap out passengers between the uh, between the uh, boat parade and the and the race. 
and uh, the rest of the boats are headed out towards the starting line pretty much for a day of sailing. Get some uh, laps in before the race actually starts. So, yeah, maybe I'll uh, try and start up another video when. Um, let's try and start up another video when. Uh, when the race is about to begin. Anyway, uh, nice day out here. Yeah, I got a uh, reef in the main too. Not that I need it right now, but uh, I'm thinking the uh, wind may be piping up later today, so I figured I'd reef now and not have to worry about it. Take a hit in the uh, boat speed during the race and uh, just kind of drift it around and uh, go on fishing and deep there where the wind's pretty quiet. But all three windmills are cranking right now. I don't know if you can see them in, this, uh, in the video or not. I can see uh, the Boston skyline through the uh, through the crack in the rocks there, Norman's Woe and uh, Hammond Castle. You can see the uh, see the buildings of Boston down below, hull down. You know, the, most of the city is just below the horizon, but the building, tall buildings are showing. So. Uh, probably about 20, 25, 30 miles to Boston.